All right, so Richard's not here right now. He's working on something else, but uh, he always gets something delivered and we just don't ever know what it is. So we're about to find out. Do you think it's the bottom one or the top one? Well, I'm hoping it's the Kuntaj up there, but I highly doubt it knowing Richard. Fingers crossed, Kuntaj. Hopefully. Clean. Man, My new Ford's this? here. Yeah, when'd you get this? I bought it the other night at an auction uh, online. Supposedly like a two owner, all original. Look at it, dude. 30. I mean, is this an eight or a seven? Look at the battery box and everything. It's nice. 37. Yeah, so this is a one body style only, right? Yeah, that's the only one that does this, right? 38s were something different in the front end. It got real wacky right there. But uh, supposed to be like really, really, really original, dude. Man, look at the interior. 37 Ford Business Coupe, no back seats. Wow. I don't wow. think this car's ever been apart. Doesn't look like it. Now this would be all. It's definitely been painted. Well, it spots. What the fuck? What am I doing wrong? Pull up, pull forward. Man, check it out. Check out the firewall, Richard. Usually they're all just screwed up. This thing's pretty rad. Look at the wires and everything, yeah. What do we got radiator fluid up here for? Uh, there's a, a Ferrari on above it that was leaking. Is that what all this is? Yeah. And they just dropped it off and left it on there, huh? Well, let's get that washed off. Oh, yeah. This looks real sanitary and clean. It does. I does mean, it that, run? Well, they they said it would spin over, but they may have been putting a 12 volt to it, so I don't know. Okay, well, let's get it inside. Get the guys. Let's get this off the paint. You want to just push it in? Yeah, we're going to have to. I mean, y'all are going to have to. Okay. This I'm guessing it's rad. from Ohio. I'm pretty stoked and on South this. South Dakota. And Georgia. Okay, get some help. Let's get it inside. Huh? All right, get some help. Let's get it inside. Okay. Go get the guys. All right. Are you done yet? Phipps, move Not it. Yet. What's in the box? Box stuff. <gasps> award winner. It's an award winner, Phipps. It's that an big award old box winner. for that little plaque. <laughs> I don't know. There's a couple other things in here. Oh. 1937 book. Look at that. Wow. Check it out. Okay. All right, let me get the guys. Let's get inside. Get this, hey, get a water bottle or something. Get all this off I'll, there, too. I'll, all right. All right, so there you go, guys and gals. Uh, I bought this the other night while uh, sipping beer and playing on my computer. It was at the, uh, the Worldwide auction out in uh, Scottsdale. Don't really know what I want to do with it yet, but it was just too cheap for a business coupe with uh, this much originality. Uh, I mean, it is all original. And... Uh, it's for sale, so come on down. Get yourself a 37 coupe. I don't think we need your help on this one. We have that old man here. Yo, know, it looks like this one might be pretty easy too. It's in pretty decent shape. So, what are you trying uh, to say? I'm trying to say you're old. Yeah, he's trying to say I'm easy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> probably both, but uh, just I, I run it just, through the ringer. Yeah, I think we just put a charge on it. It'll probably start, and then they, uh, we'll go through it. Well, just check the gas. See what, it smell, see what the awesome. gas smells like. Right. Um, check the battery. Get it charged up, oh, and then yeah. and then just give it the uh, old one two. And these are negative, positive, positive, negative. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's negative. No. It's negative gram. I was doing it the way Kenny hooked I mean, it up. Positive gram. There you go. I was doing it the way Kenny hooked Let the old man do his job and watch <laughs> Phipps fly. Fly! Fly, Phipps! See this little 85 right here? Yeah. That's 85 horsepower. Is that the original book? Yeah, that's the original book. Look right at here. that. 1937, 85 whopping horsepowers out of this. 
That's uh. It works, bitch. That's like what? Yeah, but look, it's the headlights. Watch. Oh. Does the lights work? Uh, real low because of the battery. Just let it charge up for a while. So that's like what, 10.8 horsepower per cylinder? Something like that. Let's let it charge up for a bit. You got a real dead battery. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's taking a charge. So I'm ordering a new battery from O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Oh, it'd be, it'll be a little while. They're not real. Well, yeah, they're fast, but sometimes they're not. Okay, you want to hit the button for me? Sure, let's do it. Hit, flip the switch. I have, it's flipped. I know how to work this thing. Okay. in its place and the radio tries to make noise we're looking at it it's, it's got 8,000 miles on the odometer could that possibly be could it be pretty cool man I don't have those on new cars I don't know, I'd be pretty bad. The antenna got excited. <laughs> well, I think Phipps, you lucked out and don't have to do anything the rest of the day. Yeah, wash it. Yeah, but you, you won't be able to do that today. Where was this? Uh, I think it was in that box that was out in the back. There in the it's a different generator. Yeah, and he likes these pre-war Fords. He is, he's gonna be so pleased with this one. I mean, the interior, everything works. I mean, just that back glass right there, that's the only really problem. Okay, it's the tool, the tool kit's still in <laughs> Really? Yes. And the jack. jack. Where, does it have the pump in it? Hey. Ford. I don't know, it should have a pump. I'm guessing that's your bug or inch. Oh, that's over here. I don't see an air pump. Base for the jack. <laughs> There's a handle for the jack. There's the jack. There's the jack. But who really is jack? Look at that. Old man with an old car. Well, I'm not quite this old, but I hope I look that good. Dude, for unrestored, this thing is rad. I, I, I cannot tell you how solid this car is. Uh, what else we do to it? We, we put a fresh battery in it, uh, put some gas in it, fix the brake lights. We, not a whole heck of a lot, dude. We washed it, a uh, few little tweaks, uh, adjusted the carburetor, and man, it fires up just like that. I mean, Everything it fires work? up like you want it to. Everything work like it's supposed to? Lights, horns, Lights, sirens? Lights, horns, the radio makes noise. Does the siren work? No. Yeah, I ain't got a siren, does it? Uh, dome light works. The, the windshield still folds out. Golly, this is the original seat. Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, uh, it, it's weird, it's got the fold out windshield and the vent. Now, no, remember, you gotta remember, gotta lock it. It's unlocked. Go for it. Is that, that's how you want that's them That's unbelievable. All. I know it. I Holy know. cow. It is, it. That it, is really cool. You know, at first, at first, when I first saw it, I thought, well, this would be cool to hot rod. But now, this thing stays like it is. Windshield does open up, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, the windows roll up and down. The antenna moves. Uh, it, it's just. The only thing, okay, I, I haven't got to the oil pressure gauge, but it's electric. But it's got oil pressure. Well, you fixed it. You ride. Let's go. All right. Open the door. Been a while since we've done this. Uh 
Yeah, oh, watch, watch this. I mean, just so easy. It's wicked cool. Yeah, it was just somebody's baby for a long time. Well, supposedly, if the story is correct, it had two owners since 1941. Well. And I think it's mostly original paint. I, I haven't really... But there are spots, but that's to be expected. The dash is all original. I mean, yeah, this thing is the glass, rad, dude. Now, the, the rubber in the back window has been redone, which was a must. But that's just because they, they liked it, you know? Or I'm going to say they loved it. Uh, I just I just wonder why the guy decided to sell it. But, you know, you, you've gotten some over the years that when you got them, that yeah, was a grandpa's car, and they remember how they would dump all their stuff, all the grandpa's stuff out of the garage. We just went over that bump that this car in front of us actually went around. Yeah. And we're in a 37 or Ford. Well, these cars were made for these kind of streets. <laughs> these cars were made for trails. Yeah. He still, well, he's got look at those wheels. Man, look how tight that is. Yo. Yeah, the glove box is still in it. Unbelievable, dude. The, the the dealer's tag is still over here. I just love cars that are kept, you know, yeah. in good condition, taken care of. Well, this uh, you know, sent uh, never smoked in. Look at that. I, I know the little thingy. Shot. You've never even used the the thing to put the cigarette out. No, it's got a lighter. This had probably every option but a heater. That's because it was from New Mexico. Well, New that Mexico might be. It's pretty cold out there in the desert. Yeah. But that may be why there's no rust. I mean, we, we went around this thing. And it's pretty comfortable. Oh, yeah. It's got 85 horsepower, Phipps. No, I don't think it does. You know, it's what it's, that's what they advertise it as. Well, I don't know, but not that old. They advertise it as 85. It's got more than that. <laughs> that thing's probably faster, though. How's the drive? Straight? Well, if I could have gone in the gears. Well, they're not, they didn't have synchros. Yeah, drive straight, it's not pulling. You know, even though you the hit middle, the brakes, it doesn't pull, it goes straight down. Well, it, okay, so 37, it was still manual brakes, right? They, these have had their, their juice brakes on it now. Oh, it's got the juice brakes, okay, I yeah. never even looked under it, to tell you the truth. Which is, you know, a must if you're gonna drive it. Yeah, the brakes work great, man. Yeah, but you, you scored on this one. I mean, well, I, I haven't scored until I sell it for profit, Phipps. Well, we you have scored. <laughs> I could cruise this to uh, the old burger stand, you malt try, shack. This is the cool sitting out in front of your house. <laughs> Not my house. Sure. Maybe your house. Well, mine's new, too. My house needs to have, like, uh, expensive cars out there. This is expensive. How we doing? <laughs> Tell him I'll be out in a minute. Yeah. Super cool, man. Now yep. all we got to do is sell it and make some money. Yep. That's the goal, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is rad, Phipps. Uh, I'm tickled. I would like to drive this thing home, but uh, I probably won't. No hater. Yeah, well, anyways, good job. Now get back to work. Okay. Uh, Tony, get that thing pictured up. Let's sell it. And then uh, um, what are you guys going to do? Because, you know, I'm leaving for London, England tomorrow to go to the Isle of Man to talk to the race developers and I guess the board of directors or the people in charge of the Isle of Man TT. More on that later. Now back to you, Millennial Things. I mean, I got a tea time scheduled for tomorrow. What do you think this is? When 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 uh, Dad's away, the the children will play. Well, yeah. I mean, there's a reason that that saying exists. You know what? Baby dolls is a good happy hour. So. I've never been to baby dolls. <laughs> really? What do you guys have planned? Because we need to put out a video. I'm going to be gone. I'm not going to be back until Super Bowl Sunday, and that doesn't leave much time for us to uh, do anything. So, what's the plan? What do we have in the can? 
fuck around. No, that's not going to work. That's what we're doing, is it not? I mean, the golden tees haven't been turned on in a while. Well, I mean, okay, all right. Oh, yeah, so, ping pong over there. Okay, so if we if we have to do something, I mean, it's not like you're around to buy a car or anything. Okay. I taught this knucklehead how to buy a truck at 21 years old because he had never done it. So why, how, oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be really fun for me. I'm worried. I'm okay. Worried how about I give you guys a budget? Y'all find something on the old interwebs here local. Go buy it. Get it here. Hey, Chase, come here. You're going to love this. Okay. This is a really horrendously stupid idea, but I think it'll be funny. Oh, boy. And I like to spend money uh, on comedy. Okay. What you got? Okay. So this guy doesn't even know how to uh, buy a truck until I showed him. Okay. And right. uh, this one, he's got problems galore. This one hasn't been here long enough for us to figure it out. Right. So we need to have uh, something car related going on for next Monday's video. Okay. And uh, I think that um, I just came up with this. It's genius. And uh, I think I give them a budget. They got to go find something to buy. They got to get it back here, clean it up, running. You've seen me do this a thousand times, guys. All right. So it's easy. You bring it back here, clean it up, get it going better, give it a little better story, shove it down, stuff some shoes on it, whatever the hell you got to do to make it make profit. And if it makes 25% profit, I'll give you the profit. If it makes less, I get to keep it. Okay. okay. And anything over twenty five percent, I get to keep. That's a, I mean, that's pretty fair. I'll take that. So if it makes thirty yeah, five percent, I get ten. Y'all get twenty five. I'll take that. But if it but if it, it makes under twenty five percent profit, I get to keep it. Well, okay. I mean, I feel like this has to be asked because we've seen you do it plenty of times. What happens if it doesn't make money? Oh, that's coming out of your paycheck. Oh. So it has to make something. Ooh. Maybe so, yeah, maybe I'm out on the whole money thing. You're not in this. You oh, just got to okay. oversee this shit show. Wait, so I have to babysit, and I don't get paid? You get you get your regular salary. You just don't get to partake in the profit thing. What? They're not gonna make any profit. It's I'm good. Accepted. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not accepted. Let's you go. guys are Let's so. Go. Millennial that you didn't even ask how much money you're getting five grand. You know what? You can't do anything. You're getting seventy five hundred bucks. Dude, we that's actually a lot that's more that. than than I thought. I you got to buy it. You got to fix it. You got to do whatever, and then you got to make twenty five percent profit or better. Otherwise, you don't get a dime. And if it loses, I take it out of your paychecks. I thought he was going to give us like. Fifteen hundred. Yeah, all right. Well, well, See, this is the problem with you millennials. You can't buy a car for fifteen hundred dollars. No. Show me one that drives. It would be you to challenge us. With buy, that. Uh, buy one and fix one is still hard at seventy five hundred. I think we could do it. And right. making it make profit. No, we can do and it. The it problem, and it can't be a shitbox like you know he buys. Uh, it has to be something that we can do in like two days. Yeah, because remember, I still have that stupid big yellow truck, and I will run it over, and it will have zero profit, and everything you spent will have to come out of your pro out of your paychecks. You know the rules, 7,500 bucks, you gotta make 25% profit. If you don't, I get all the profit. If there's no profit, it comes out of your checks. And uh, don't touch my cars. When the monkey's gone, it is not time to just be jacking around. Now you have a job to do and a challenge. You shouldn't have any time to be jacking with my cars, especially my new Porsche, because I love it. That thing is so rad. I don't know what y'all are sitting around for. You want a beer to watch this shit show? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to reel them in a little bit because they might get stupid, but they should be able to find something for three to five grand, maybe spend a grand on it and try to get out at 75. Right. I mean, I think, I mean, it should be, it should be doable, but I think you have to stay more trucky because you can buy trucks cheap and then sell them for good money. Well, don't tell clean. them that. They um, gotta find their own. I know, I'll have to make them struggle a little bit. I mean, I don't mind if you help them a tad, but I want to see their fingers and hands dirty. I want to see them working. I want to see them doing stuff. Right. For those of you that don't know, that was a cameo appearance by my son Chandler. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, I right. think this should be a shit show. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. Especially, don't buy something, it'll blow up on the way home. Then uh, what are they going to do? So no, no trailer. 
all truck. They can take a trailer. I don't care. But I don't care if you buy a truck or, you know, those idiots will probably try to buy an electric car or uh, uh, a four-door. Or a little Honda Civic from the fucking 70s. Oh, yeah, that would be cool, actually. Be cool, but they're hard to find. All right, well, there you go. It's all yours, man. Good luck. Millennial leading the millennials. What could go wrong? Uh, a lot. Yeah, so we're gonna... What is that? Huh? Don't what is that? that? Not... Dude, not right now. So we gotta try to find a car that um, we're gonna make money on. I really don't want to lose any money on this. Um, but I figured if we're gonna channel our inner Richard Rawlings, uh, we could use some uh, help. Uh, it is not even past six o'clock. It is only five. Five twenty-eight, Tuesday. They, they taste a little bit better mm -hmm. when you're a little rebellious. Okay, hear yeah, me out, guys. So you're gonna seventy-five hundred. Fifty-fifty chance here. We hit Winstar. Put it all on black, <laughs> dude. Double our money. Therefore, already made profit. If we go that way, I think I'm in. No. That can't happen. You can't lose. You can lose. It's a better chance than buying a piece of shit I think that's actually what man. gambling is. I think it's that you can lose. That's the whole point. So you're telling me that you guys want to just go to Windstar and not look at cars. I literally already have some cars pulled up that I haven't even looked at, but I, I mean, still have okay, 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 all right, all right, all right. Let's all find five cars. They all kind of have to be like in this area so that we can go get yeah. them in like a day. Like a hundred, like hundred miles or something. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Five. Right. Find five cars. Alright, I found my cars. I found mine. I think I found some money makers. I mean, I'm pretty confident that I think that we could actually buy all five of these cars and make good money on all of them. I think you're thinking short term. I'm thinking long term. Okay, all right. I'll kick these off. I'll kick this off first. 1959 AMC Rambler Ambassador Custom. Rare car. You never seen. You never see any of the, any of these anymore. Running and driving project. Factory pink car, four doors. Uh, yeah. yeah, you lost me at four doors there. Big factory, original 327 V8. Tell them, Brandon. Push button. Dude, they made push button cars back then. That doesn't even make any sense. I'm so caught up on the four doors. Okay. Tell them, Brandon. Keep shooting down all my stuff. Oh, okay, all right, so. It's too many doors. All right, if you don't want that, that many doors, I have something perfect for you. But you know, you Bro, okay, know that Richard okay, always okay, says. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Less doors, you got it. 1959 Cessna. That thing um, has one what? door. One door, exactly. <laughs> yep. Four doors, one kid. Okay, you're gonna have to kind of tell me like what y'all want here. That's not a car. But. It's within our price range. Think about the possibilities here. Within our price range. How if, much? Okay, if we don't if we don't buy this car by the time or buy this this, this plane, by the time this video comes out, someone's gonna end up like can buying you, this. Can you go ahead Call and it see now. more? Uh, no, you're missing it a little bit. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Airframe if, only. If you want it as is, then twenty three. Oh, uh, see. You, Someone doesn't read the fine print. It says. If you want it as is, then it's $23,000, Sinjin. Reading's not my strong point. Chevrolet G20 van. This thing's, this thing's bad. Look how many windows it has. How many doors? I, do, I actually like the paint. <laughs> like, paint's the paint. Paint. The paint is clean. <laughs> I, I mean, I, it comes with the fucking TV. Is it a shag van? Dude, those seats actually kind of do look comfortable. Those seats look disgusting. But they look They're cushiony. A crusty. They look cushiony though. Yeah. 
I mean, I like okay, the possibilities I actually, with that. Okay, yeah. all right. So, all no, right. keep keep it up. I think it's in our in our it's top. Also in okay. Tennessee. I mean, if you thought that one looked good, wait till you see this. Wait, 1977. Wait, can you go back? Crown Victoria. Go back to the other one. Man, we're gonna go pick this up tomorrow in in Tennessee. My search parameters might have been a little bit off. Mm. See, show me what y'all have. Dude, almost all your cars were out of state. Don't worry, guys. I got. I'm just shooting for the moon here, man. All right. I'm shooting also for shooting, shooting for the moon. So I... This seems to work well. You're doing great, sweetie. There we go. I right, don't look at the state. Is that is that an ice cream truck? Think about the possibilities here. We're talking about making profit. It comes. With smokers on the back. Wait, no, Brandon. Actually, no, wait. That's actually not a bad idea because you are always thinking of food. No, no, always thinking. No, of but food. you have to think about it. Richard said we get twenty five percent, or if we make over twenty five percent profit, he's going to give it to us. If we make this a food truck, the profits are endless. That is true. I'm just onto something there. I, I, I believe I am. Even, even though it's it's not in Mississippi. Yes, yes, oh but. My God. Show y'all a smaller bus that also, yes, I know it's a bus, but think of the possibilities. Food truck. My yeah. mind just goes straight back. Is everything back. that you're going to bring everything up possibly a food, food truck? truck? Yes. Okay. Yes. This is in Texas. Closer. Thirty-seven fifty. Think of the possibilities. Food truck. All right. So now, this is my personal favorite. Look at this bad bitch. Okay. I mean... That looks like an RV mixed with mutts and cuts from Dumb and Dumb. <laughs> oh, dude, look at the interior, The though. interior's clean. I mean, a lot of shagging got down in this. Okay, but it has a stove. Damn right it does. Food, Food truck. truck. <laughs> Food truck. Pass the camera. Show me what show me what you have before he brings up anything else that is a food truck. All right, let me see this. So I think the camera kind of already saw a little bit of this one. Oh boy, don't judge me. I think this would be so sick. And what else screams Gas Monkey than a black screen? No. Okay. All right, this is actually really interesting because there's two of them. And it says for 6,500. So you get two of them for 6,500. If I'm reading this right, I think so. Where do you see that? It says, includes many, okay. 1964 Dodge Dart GT convertible. Non-matching numbers, I know. Have original bucket seats, grill, and rear bench. Includes many extra parts for restoration. 6,500 cash. All, oh, okay. Uh, oh, reading. Okay. yes. Well then why- Insightful. Okay, why did he do that? All right, anyways. <laughs> this one is for 6,500. I guess the other one is for 3,500. But look at it. Show them. Like the interior is a little, a little messed up, but I feel like we could clean it up. We're supposed to get this running and ready to go. Dude, but look at the actual car. Okay, I think we have a- yep, That's a good one, yeah. And it's a convertible. I don't know if those are like, like sought after, but look at that. I mean, do any of us know like prices on these cars? Like, I mean, if no I mean, clue. no, no clue at all. Okay. Well, I, I do know the price on food is increasing by the day. So back to what <laughs> okay. I was saying of a food truck. All right, next one then. That's fine. This one is actually probably my one of my favorite ones. It's my second favorite one ever. Okay. A 1966 Mercury. Monterey coupe. It's all original. Everything's there. The car flow is adjusted. Ran when parked, and he just wants to get money for his bike. There's a video of it starting up and the engine running in the comments. But look at this thing. And this is right up Richard's alley. What's hanging down on the ground over there? Um, is that the exhaust? Looks like part of it. Yeah. I right, don't look at that. Well, well, look at the interior though. The head, the little uh, headboards is, um, you know, it's kind of tearing up. But look at the look at the dash and everything. You guys can't hate on that. You can. 
I'm trying to find a reason to hate on it, but I can't. Can you scroll up, actually? Uh, that's a reason to hate on it. Sales pending. Mm. Oh, yeah. You see that big thing that says pending? In red. Well, it says 5,500. We could give them 6,500. But then we only have I don't think that I don't think that's the point, is to be offering people, like, more. more. But look how badass it is. Okay, do you have something... Anything else? I have actually one more thing. Look at this. Look at it. Yes. <laughs> no, yes. Seriously. Yes. No, like actually. Brandon. I mean, <laughs> I, dude, come on. If we're gonna do this, might as well just do the food truck. Okay, two to three vote. Yes. I. I'm in. I think You're in. That one. I, think I think he's out. Yeah. Yep. Shit. All right. We got it. Awesome. It. Let's call this guy up. That's it. All right. I'll call. Him. Yo. Yeah. Look at this shit last night. This is what we. This is all what we came up with yesterday. Oh, that's not a bad truck. Look at it though. That's not a bad like read truck. the description. Runs drives. Doesn't look rusty. I gave him a call last night. Uh, we talked a little bit, but I don't know the stuff that you do. But the only reason I'm actually coming up to you is because if we do go get it, I need someone to. We need someone to drive the trailer. Well, what time? When are you trying to leave? Like now? Now. Well, is it loaded up? Like, is the trailer loaded on the truck? I mean, yeah, from last time, the trailer's already on there. We just need to go. All right, so you just need a driver. Yeah. And you want me to go right now? Yeah. It says it runs and drives, so I don't know if we'll need the trailer. And also call him to finalize the deal. Right. Oh, yeah, so. But, I, yeah, so I'll call him on the way because, I mean, deals like this don't show up, so. We'll just call him on the way. If it's loaded up, I guess let's go. I guess yeah. I'll drop what I'm doing. All right, cool. Oh, here, you actually need to call him. Easy. I mean, right? Doesn't he need to call him right now? I'll call him in the truck. Okay, okay. all right, all right. Wait, so y'all grab the cash, right? What? You grab the cash. Who has the Did fucking Did you grab money? the cash? You got the cash. You have the cash. You no, have the cash. no, one of y'all have the cash. Y'all are fucking with me right now. Wait. I'm fucking with you. I have the cash. Okay. Okay, uh, good. God damn. <laughs> Can't make a deal without no fucking cash. Two grand. Well, Two grand? Uh, that may not be I'm good. I'm afraid that's that's not fair. Well, I mean, that's how you that's how you do this deal, right? Like you like like you say, oh hey, like I only have like two grand. Uh -huh. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh. All right, so we all find one pretty quick. So uh, I guess I'm gonna call and make sure it's a good truck. Otherwise, we're gonna find something out there in Fort Worth area anyway, because we're, we're driving. It's a good deal. So uh, let me call him right now. You... Did you hear that? I made a good deal. Is this Robert? Hey man, uh, Austin wanted me to give you a call about that truck and just kind of go over a few things with you. Got a sec. So I just want to know if it's if it's got any rust. Is it like is the cab rotted out or the floorboard solid and stuff like that? And then uh, what's the interior look like? Does it run? Does it drive? Oh, it runs and drives. Okay. No rust. Sounds good. But you and you said you drive it every now and then. Oh, you just drove it to Arlington. Okay, so we we possibly be able to drive it back. All right, cool. And then it breaks. Breaks felt good. We're not gonna kill kill anybody, are we? All right, sounds good. We'll uh, we're headed your way now. We'll be there in about an hour. Sound good? All right. Yep. We'll see you in an hour. Bye. All right. Well, it seems like you found a decent truck. Rock free. Got brakes. It drives. It does everything it's supposed to. Maybe a decent truck, Austin. So we're gonna find out. I just keep thinking that we have possibilities of making this into a food truck. Y'all are thinking short term, I'm thinking long term. Looks like it's right there. Oh yeah, it is. It's kind of blocked the driveway a little bit. But this one right here, uh, I unloaded it last night and pulled it up here. Okay. That's a clean title. I got some keys there Oop. somewhere. I know it. Every penny counts. You bet. Let's see if I can get the keys out.
There you go. The, uh, the Chevrolet key operates both doors. Okay. I'll pull it out here and lock it up. And you don't want to use the gas. Just, you, you just turn the key and it'll start right up. Okay, perfect. And is this the, the key to open the other door? Here, Jay. Is it the uh, is it the TBI or is it? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, we'll check that out. I know it's. Uh, I believe it's original motor, and I believe it was rebuilt. I don't know how many years ago, but it, the guy that had it had a construction business. Okay. Makes sense with the bed. In Granbury. Okay. And he sold it to me. The only thing missing was the uh, AC compressor. AC compressor. And, That's not too uh, big of a deal. Once he gets it open, it should start right. It's that Chevrolet looking, round looking. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one right there. <laughs> These young kids. Yeah, I'm young, but. I know, I know my way around the car. I got you all beat. Oh, yeah. I'm as old as my gums and a little older than my teeth. <laughs> well, you still look good. <laughs> Runs pretty good. Something with the carburetor. Yeah, throttle okay. body. Because it's a, it's a throttle body injected. It's the first year for that. So I had the carburetor taken off and a new uh, exhaust was, uh, I mean, intake uh, gasket, gasket in between. So uh, you and him talked press on the phone? Yeah, we talked press on the phone. He was pretty firm on it, but uh, I think. I think he's right on the, right on the money. Okay. So, uh, it's about as far as you went. Oh, well, I did remove all the brakes. That's a front frame. Okay. I put the other one. I just yeah, took Nappa the Hines. old. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know Napa High back then put the Chevy in emblem in it. That's got rid of cool. them, put new yeah. ones on. Well, the lines these lights weren't on here ready. Okay. okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty clean red. truck. Like, well, right now, I'll solve it. Yeah. I mean, it looks good. Hail all the doors work? Yeah. Yeah. The key doesn't work on the yeah, they're like that. Yep, they're they're right. they all lock up. They're all right. Okay. Well, that's not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin Hyde is still, or Napin Hyde is still around. You can really, you can really see, see it. it. Oh, for sure. Well, we definitely want to go with this truck, but can we look at some of the stuff you have in here? Sure. Cool. I, I, what I'm trying to do is the projects that I've had for 10 years and maybe longer, 15 on that. Ford. Uh, I'm trying to clean out my garage and get down to one, and I'll show you that one that I'm thinking of. This one right here is uh, that's not that's the hood that come with it, but I've got the the uh, Roadrunner hood in the in the in the in, garage. In the garage. And I've got a 440 engine for it somewhere back over there. Yeah, and, I see it back there. And that's a, I think this one is a 318. This one was running. And I just set it in there because I run out of space to put them on. <laughs> places, stands to put them on. But uh, it's got the five, what, the 150 mile an hour speedometer stuff. Yeah. I got that stuff in the house because I don't want to damage it. Right. And uh, it's got all the seats. The seat, these two white seats were in it. Okay. It's right here, it's got the back seats. Everything's over there. And, well, I'm gonna uh, take I'm gonna take a few pictures for Richard. And it's a 440. You never really know what people are going to have tucked away when you show up. So this is pretty cool. You guys got some project cars. Um, I'm going to send a couple pictures to Richard. Some of them are a little far gone, but they definitely could be fixed. So uh, so maybe we end up back here at a I later mean, day. Yeah, maybe, maybe we come back in a later day when Richard's back. So uh, yeah, I think we're going to get this truck and we're going to hit the road. And uh, I got a few ideas for it already. So. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll tell you all about that in the car. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, count that just to make sure. I uh, counted, always says counted it, money even at, like the bank. So. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta admit, this looks like a lot better shape than the stuff Richard's brought back lately. At least there's actual, you know, tires on it. I don't want to jinx it too too early. Yeah, that's like last time point. I did that, uh, <laughs> we got knocked out of the 24 hours. Of 
Yeah. Daytona, so I'm not saying anything until this thing's done and sold. Oh yeah, and I'm playing that back in the edit. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, cool. I, I so you can roll that. Now? Now. Yeah. Everything's going good so far. I hope I don't jinx anything. See you all in the morning. A bill of sale is not enough. A bill of sale for a dealer is because we're a dealer, a Texas dealer. What do you want to sign? Grace says. <laughs> the gas will be way. <laughs> so, uh, you gonna back that trailer up? We're gonna load it up? Robert says it drives, so you're driving it back. It'll drive. The but I wanted yet. to drive. Wanna do a little switch halfway through? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Yes. I'm not sure. We'll lower it a little bit. We'll start. I don't know either. We'll send you some pictures. It'll look good. <laughs> you got my address, so send me something. Try every <laughs> single key, man. <laughs> Figured it out. All right, well, follow me. They can have fun in that while we got the AC. They got 100 mile an hour AC, so. So, uh, what are the odds that this thing makes it all the way back? It's a 50-50 chance. And especially with them driving, it's 40, 40% chance. Picked up this truck. It uh, runs pretty good. At least it has brakes. Um, it's kind of hard to see out the rear view mirror, kind of have to hold it up and angle it every time I need to see. But other than that, it's a uh, pretty good bang for the buck. I'm excited to see what Chase is thinking about doing with it. All right, thanks man, later. So my plan for this thing is, I know it's not a dually now, but I kind of want to make it a dually. And I just got off the phone with Wheel Pros, they have what I want. Um, we may go pick those up, but uh, you know that old, like I think it was a 68 F350 with a service body on it? We were talking about building that for a while and we ended up selling it. So I kind of want to do that to this one. I don't know, we, we're going to make it work. Whether we now have to split the bed down the middle and widen the bed or whatever we have to do, I think we're going to make this a dually. And I think you'll like the wheels I picked out. It'll, it'll fit the truck. I'm flooring it and we're not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, that's just... I'm gonna like be honest. That's that's a pretty big letdown. Oh, and we're going. <laughs> I heard it. I I don't know what just happened. It was but stuck in gear. Yeah, shit just popped into gear. Hey man, they're leaking, so I'm gonna call Austin. Yo, y'all are leaking, so find the next exit. Bye. Yeah, go that way. Oh, we're dead. Just roll. Yeah. <laughs> Truck's just off. So yeah, we're just rolling our way uh, to the finish line. Not even the finish line. Um, kind of just rolling to a safe area to uh, check out what the fuck happened. Trying to roll. Trying to roll. We're, oh, I'm, what? I'm trying to pull over I here. know, they don't understand. And we're stopped. A little smoky. Look at the battery. Yeah, it's loaded. The overflow tank went over. They may have just overfilled it. I don't see anything that says it's leaking. Other than there's shit everywhere. Way to go, Brandon. It's your shitty truck that you found. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> I think she's People just hot. T-shirts of that or something like that. That's a good idea. Let's get chased. We're gonna let her cool down because she's uh, way hot. Temperature gauge goes to 260 and it's uh, pegged past that, so. It didn't Maybe. work when we looked at it. <laughs> yeah, whenever we were driving, it wasn't moving. Oh, it's working now. Maybe Good. it had an air pocket in it, I don't know, but it's hot. It doesn't really want to turn over. Did y'all touch the switch? Uh, yeah, I did. Well, uh. What is it? It's the fuel tank switch. Well, I, I, I flipped it up and flipped it back down. Okay, yeah, you're on the right tank. You said this tank only works. It's got dual tanks, but that's the switch to switch back and forth. Oh, I thought it was a light or something. So you didn't know what it was, so you decided 
to fuck with it. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it. Nice. So I guess uh, we were rolling smooth for a while. Everything was looking good. At least they told me it looked good. And then uh, I guess this is why Richard always just trailers them. She's empty. Key to our problem. Could be, uh, I think we'd better go in the grocery store and get some water. It's cheaper than antifreeze and it's, it's convenient. Mm. I only got two hands, so it's a lot easier. Yeah, she was empty. Whoa, it's hot. Whoa. Shit. Yeah, she's real low. She's not happy. She's not happy. All right, we're gonna eat lunch. No, nope, don't litter, kids. lunch let it cool down put some water in it and uh, hopefully it starts now we got uh, we tried to start it too many times hot so what is that's why I brought the trailer though we just throw it up on the trailer we're gonna pick up some parts on the way and we'll be good to go. We'll, have, we'll make Phipps fix it. And uh, it'll be good after that. <laughs>